Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. We're gonna be doing another on the job video today. And we've already been at this job before. It might've been episode two or three, I can't really remember. So I'll swing the camera around and let's take a look at what we'll be doing. This unit is now nearing finish and we have all of our cables already roughed in. In the middle, we're gonna be adding an AI360 camera, which I don't have with me today, but we will be getting it in a few days. And then we'll walk back and here we have a reception desk. We have a couple data jacks that are in the wall. We have another camera up top. We have a data jack in the wall over here, another camera, and then we keep walking back. You'll notice that there's a blue cable hanging out of the wall. That's for a camera. We have some more data drops and another data drop over here as well. We'll be adding IP phones to this, which will be Grandstream. We have another cable for a camera. And then if we walk back a little more in the middle, we have a cable for an access point. Now let's go take a look at what we're doing upstairs. In this front room, we're just gonna be adding one data drop and there will be a phone also. And we'll be putting up a viewport on this wall somewhere where they're gonna have a TV. This is for an access point and this cable right here, I'm not too sure who ran that. I think it's for security alarm. And we have two data cables for cameras, one pointing this way and one pointing that way. In this back office, we're gonna have an access point in the ceiling and then we have a few data drops along the wall. Now let's go to the basement where the rack's gonna be. And now we're in the basement. This will be for an access point and I need to run two other cables down to this wall as things have changed. And we could see this big mess of cables. We need to get this all tidied up and terminated. The customer bought this rack. I've never used it before. It's a two post 16U StarTech rack that just sits on the floor and it can't even be bolted. And we have our power right behind. We keep walking back. We'd see we have a data drop on the wall. We have another cable for an access point, which the contractor, the drywaller nicked. So hopefully that will test all right. And then we have another drop in the wall. And in this far back room, we just have one more data jack. So hopefully you could hear me all right. What we're gonna do, we need to get our cables bundled into 24. So we're gonna grab 24 of these CAT6 cables and then start bundling it down with Velcro. I only have blue Velcro with me today. Typically I use black, but this should be all right. And since this rack is a bit lower, we're gonna have to bring our bundle down and then back up. At the top, we're gonna have a patch panel and then we'll have a 48 port pro switch. Below that switch, we'll have another patch panel, a UDM pro and whatnot. This is all gonna be a time lapse, so I hope you enjoy. So we got our first 24 bundled down and going into the rack. The rack is very low and thankfully there is a chair here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start placing the cables into the keystone ports and then terminating. I use the eye punch tool by Vertical Cable in their VMAX Cat 6 jacks. So let's get started.
All right, so it turns out we have two 24 port pro switches, not 48 port. So we're just gonna have 12 ports at the top, then we'll put a switch down below. We'll put another patch panel, and then we'll put another switch, another patch panel, and so on and so forth. These first 12 ports, they'll be unused and we'll have to put some blank keystones on them. So next thing we need to do is put in a switch. So I bundled the rest of the cables down with the original data cables. If we look down, we have our 12 data cables on top and then a 24 port USW Pro switch. And then below that, we have another 12 ports. I already installed the UDM Pro and then eight camera cables. So the cameras are gonna be on these purple keystones. The access points, we're gonna put on yellow keystones and then we have a few more data jacks. Below this patch panel, we'll be putting in another USW24 PoE and then another patch panel and we have a UNVR and a battery backup to go on the bottom. So now we need to finish terminating. Okay, and all of the keystone jacks are terminated. So what we need to do, we need to start patching these in. But before we do that, as that's my favorite part, we're gonna start mounting devices. We'll start with putting a Nano HD up here and the drywallers made that hole really big, so hopefully we can make it work. point is now mounted we have five more to go Now it's time for my favorite part, which is patching. And I use these Slim Cat 6 patch cables. I'll put links down below for my Amazon links for these kind of cables, as well as patch panels, keystone blanks, um, and some jacks. So let's go ahead and start patching. Now our six inch patch cables are in the jacks and also in the switches. We need to connect DAC cables from the UDM Pro to the switch and then this switch to that switch. Uh, so I have two DAC cables. We aren't gonna be done here today. It will take another trip. We need to label everything. We still need to do some testing as well as putting on some more devices. Well, I'm pretty much done for the day. I'm pretty tired, but we got quite a bit done. Um, down here, we can see all the cables are dressed in and then there's a service loop. On the top, we have some extra cable and then we have our first patch panel. I'm using six inch slim cables going into the USW Pro PoE. And the reason we went with the Pro, we are adding a Unify Access controller. We have our UDM Pro and then we have another patch panel. The purple are for our cameras, the yellows are for access points and blue is for data. And then on the very bottom, we have our UNVR with four hard drives in it. And we could see that we have white DAC cables connecting the switches in the UDM Pro.
And that's going to do it for this video. I do still need to go back there and label the patch panels and do some testing as well as finish off some of the keystones on the wall plates. We also still need to install our Unify Access, the AI360 camera, and six Grandstream phones with the UCM 6304A. And I may do some filming of that as well. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.